Hi, recent archaeological excavation in a particular region of India has yielded iron tool and implement samples which when radiocarbon dated point to a period much beyond what was previously believed to be the start of the iron age in India. This is big because it's the earliest evidence of usage of iron in India. Are you curious to know where and when this excavation happened? And how ancient is the time period for the first use of iron in India? Come, let us get into the details about these right away. If you like this video, please click the like button, share it with your contacts, subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to be notified of new videos and other announcements. Thanks. The cultural periodization of time is in two categories, prehistoric periods that is periods not recorded in writing and historic periods which are recorded in writing. Prehistoric period is further subdivided into three stone ages namely Paleolithic, Mesolithic or Microlithic and Neolithic, then the Bronze Age and the Iron Age and the historic period into early and late historic, early and late medieval and modern periods. The start and end points of each period will be very different for different regions of the world. For example, what you see is the periodization for India done by the experts who carried out the recent excavations in India. This could be quite different for Northern Europe or Eastern Europe or Central Asia or Far East. Of these different periods, we are now going to focus on the Iron Age in this video. The Iron Age for different regions is again different. For example, the Iron Age of most of Northern Europe is reckoned as the period between 1200 BCE and 200 AD, whereas for South Asia it may be between 1800 BCE and 500 BCE. Why is iron so important? As you know, iron is the most abundantly available metal on planet Earth and it can be used both for constructive purposes like farming tools and other implements, in construction, as well as in destructive purposes like weapons. We will of course focus on the constructive purpose, that is, on iron tools for farming. Use of iron to make farming tools and implements was an important development for most civilizations to transition from hunting and gathering to farming, because iron tools and implements could quickly convert forests into farming lands. It also marks the beginnings of a very important transition from a nomadic tribal culture moving from place to place as hunter-gatherers to an agrarian society that started living in permanent habitats on plain grounds rather than in caves and rock shelters and also started domesticating cattle and other animals. Let us now take a very quick look at the places and datings of origin of iron usage in India which were widely accepted by experts before these excavations happened. For the first time, dating of iron use in India was fixed at 1300 BCE based on excavations at Aha near Udaipur in Rajasthan. Later, samples at Pukasagara in Hospet Taluk of Bellary district of Karnataka indicating iron production were dated back to 1530 BCE. This date was subsequently pushed back to 1700 to 1800 BCE with excavations finding evidence of iron smelting at Raipura in the Midganga Valley. It was pushed back again to 1900 to 2000 BCE based on investigation in sites at iron smelting Malha located in the iron rich mineral zone of Midganga Valley in the heartland of India near Varanasi and Brahmagiri in Chittadurga district of Karnataka. A series of dating results on finds from various parts in India have shown evidence of iron ore technology before 1800 BCE. Before the latest discovery, the earliest evidence of iron use for Tamil Nadu was from Telanganur and Mangadu near Metu in the iron bearing zone of Salem dating back to 1500 BCE. Mailadum Parai, which in Tamil literally means peacock dancing on a rock is a small hamlet located at the foothill about 3 km west of Togarapalli village in Bargur Taluk of Krishnagiri district of Tamil Nadu. Past excavations at Mailadumpare right from 
1977 have yielded rich cultural clues of Tamil's lives right from the Paleolithic to historic periods. Neolithic stone tools and grooves to sharpen the tools had been found. Neolithic age is characterized by the use of very sharp stone tools, the introduction of farming, making of pottery, domestication of animals, and change from a hunter-gatherer lifestyle to one of a settled habitat. In 2021, excavation was carried out by the Tamil Nadu Archaeological Department with guidance of external experts on the site that met with Neolithic and Iron Age habitation mound in the terraces of the hillock called Sanarappan Malai, which is a corrupt form of Tamil word Sanro Rappan Malai. Rock shelters with rock carvings were found on the hill slope as also habitation mound, signifying a cultural transition of living in rock shelters to plain ground. Neolithic cells, which are stone axes with wooden angles and redware of pottery were found. Mailanamparai had an impressive burial complex of about 1000 burials distributed over 40 hectares or 100 acres of the undulated rocky terrain dissected by numerous water bodies. Most of the burials are cane circles which are piles of stones on the boundary of burial sites. In a few of them, the cyst that is the ancient stone or terracotta coffin is partially exposed due to the removal of the cane packing by the cultivators of the field. In total, 16 graves were opened, pottery was found both inside the cyst and outside in the cane circle. Iron objects such as small knives, sword, axe, arrowheads, etc. were also found. The iron objects were sent to the reputed beta analytic laboratories in Miami, Florida, USA for carrying out radiocarbon dating with the ASM that is accelerator mass spectrometry which is the most reliable method of dating. The mid-range calibrated dating for the iron samples was found to be 2172 BCE. What does this mean? Yes, iron was first introduced and used in India in Tamil Nadu by the Tamils in the year 2172 BCE or before, that is over 4200 years ago. In other words, Iron Age started as early as 4,200 years ago in Tamil Nadu in India. Please check out our other videos in the full playlist and please subscribe to our channel by clicking the respective links.